The Los Angeles Police Museum in Highland Park houses some of the most famous and infamous relics in department history. Our guide on this tour is retired LAPD Commander Bob Taylor. This building uh, was built in 1925 and it was known as Highland Park Station and it operated as a full police station from 1925 up until late 1983, early 1984. Now a museum, the memorabilia takes us all the way back to the LAPD's origins in the late 1800s. This was a cowboy town, and so you know, Levi's and shirts and you know cowboy hats and all that kind of stuff. So this was the first formal uniform that the department had. And so this is a picture of the officers and their uniform with their Remington rifles. Mm -hmm. I noticed that the stereotype of the law enforcement officer with the mustache oh, yeah. dates back. Most of them, yeah, in the 1800s, <laughs> you know, they, they had beards and mustaches. Now, why uh, is that? Is that just the look? I, that well, I, I think they didn't want to shave. You know, don't forget, you know, shaving, you didn't go, you didn't have an electric razor. You know, you couldn't go get a Gillette razor. And so the classic look of the mustached LAPD cop has flourished ever since. Now, before women could join the force, L.A. had city mothers. They helped care for homeless kids. One city mother, Alice Stebbins Wells, went on to become the first female LAPD officer in 1910. The first female officer in the nation, for that matter. When Alice came on, uh, they didn't have a uniform store. So how could she get a uniform? She made her own uniforms. How fast did another female officer come after she became an officer? Very quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. By, uh, you know, the 1920s, we had uh, not only Alice Devin Wells, but we had the first African-American policewoman as well. This is also a crime museum. One section dedicated to the 1963 Onion Field murder of Officer Ian Campbell. Two revolvers involved in the Onion Field shooting are stored here. Another room tells the story of publishing heiress Patty Hearst. Hearst was kidnapped by the Symbionese Liberation Army, then forced to join this terrorist group in a 1974 bank heist. They found what the SLA members were armed with. So it included M1 carbines, uh, M1A2 carbines, 38 caliber revolvers, 12 gauge shotgun, uh, 45 caliber uh, semi-automatic handguns. February 28, uh, 1997, uh, two suspects entered the Bank of America in North Hollywood, and this is exactly what they looked like. This is what they were wearing. We've uh, outfitted two mannequins so that people can see what they looked like. Ten officers were injured in the North Hollywood shootout. The suspects were killed. Their bullet-riddled vehicle also parked at the museum. And he was crouched down in front of this car, shooting at the officers who were located behind his car. Right here. Right here. For anyone who's into LAPD history, or the history of Los Angeles for that matter, it would be criminal for you not to show up and visit this place. The museum is open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. In Highland Park, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week.